everybody. Today I'm going to be making farmer's cheese. I'm going to be making two kinds. I'm going to be making one with lemon juice and one with vinegar. Now the key ingredient is you're going to have to be using whole milk. Now I'm not going to be using your traditional cheesecloth. I'm going to be using a tight woven strainer. Okay, you take one gallon of your whole milk and pour it into a pot. Then you put it on medium high heat. And what to do is make sure you keep mixing it because you don't want to burn your milk. Okay guys, this is how I stir the milk. Now don't go scraping the bottom because you don't want burnt milk in your cheese. Um, when you see bubbles get around the sides there, you know you're getting to your temperature. Now if you have a thermometer like this, when you get to about 190, you know you're getting up there and that's about the right temperature. Okay, when you see your milk starting to steam, make sure you keep stirring it. Put your thermometer in. We're about at 140 right now, so we still have a little bit to go yet. Okay, when you hear your milk starting to rumble, make sure you keep mixing it because this is when it's really going to start scorching and you don't want burnt cheese. Okay, if your milk really starts to rumble and you're mixing it and you could like feel it starting to burn on the bottom, or not burn but scorch, you could turn your heat down a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. Okay, if you don't have a thermometer, just take a look at your milk. When it starts getting frothy like this and lots of bubbles, and look at your spoon. If it's like that and it kind of looks like a cappuccino, you know you're getting almost done. Okay, so when your milk reaches 190 degrees or it looks like this, take it off the heat. Okay, so once you take your milk off the stove, you add one half cup of white vinegar or one half cup of lemon juice, whichever one you're going to use. And then you mix it for one minute. At this point, your milk is going to curdle and it's going to separate from the curds from the whey. Okay, so after you mix it for a minute, you take your curds and you strain it from the whey. Okay, so you take your pot and you dump it into the strainer as such. Okay, some people use their whey, but I don't, so I just threw mine in down the drain. Okay, so now you're left with your cheese. What I like to do is empty my whey, and then press down on my cheese, and let it sit. Okay, use a hamburger press to press down the cheese, and then transfer it into a clean towel. Okay, now that your cheese is here, I like to put it in a bigger bowl, and I put a wash rag or a clean towel in the bowl, and then I'm going to squeeze it out. Okay, what you do is you squeeze it until you don't get no more liquid coming out of your wash rag. Okay, this is the consistency of what you want your cheese to look like after it is wrung out. Okay, so when you're not getting any more liquid out of your towel here with your cheese, take it and transfer it over to an airtight container. Okay, what I like to do is I like to put it in my container and form like a little cake. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I pressed it into my container. You put it in the fridge for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, this is the lemon juice cheese. Now, I did say a half a cup, but when I put the half a cup in, it didn't curdle. So I had to use more lemon juice. You have to be the judge. You just have to put enough lemon juice in for it to curdle. So just be the, be your own judge. Okay, this is the lemon juice curd one. You can see the difference, the consistency between this one and the vinegar one. Okay, this is the consistency of the lemon juice cheese. Okay, this is how it looks when it's compressed down into the container. Same deal, put it in the fridge, half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, this is the vinegar one. I plated it and I cut it and that's how it looks. Okay, when I cut mine, I add some salt and pepper. Farmer's cheese is a traditional morning breakfast at Easter. Some people add spices to theirs, but I leave mine in plain. And when I'm ready to eat it, like I said, I put salt and pepper on it. Now the key points are, use whole milk, don't rush the heat and process, and make sure you squeeze the cheese. Okay, this is the lemon juice cheese. Same deal, salt and pepper. And this cheese will last about a week in your refrigerator. Enjoy!